There we go. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Mike Warwick, our body shop manager, just shared a book with me that I can borrow. I cannot have this book, but I can borrow it. And he needed to share it with all of you. Probably all of you are working, so I'm going live and you won't um, see this until later. But um, check this out. It's an OG. Let's switch the view. <clears throat> The OG Peterbilt um, DuPont uh, color chip book, <clears throat> color chip paint designs. So, and this is this is legit OG. So, and when I say OG, I mean original. Um, so check this out. So Mike said, "Hey, you gotta paint." your cab over a traditional peat design. He's like, don't put a frickin' Kenworth paint design on it. So um, he let me this book, so I need to show it to you guys. So what do you think? What do you think of these paint uh, designs? You know, and what a great time in history when you could order your truck with a design from factory. Hey, Dennis, thanks for watching. West Alabama, Sweden, right on, guys. Um, no, this one's actually kind of simple. That I could probably do with decals, but um yeah that's cool i mean wow it's kind of simple but um but this is cool so this is what the body shop had back in the day um and i don't know maybe i guess uh maybe i guess i don't know sales department would probably have this too to where you know you could pick your paint design and order it from the factory and when you filled out your spec sheet you would um, tell them the colors. Now, there's one that I've never seen before. You know, that's Peterbilt Design 103. Never seen that before. It's kind of kind of different. I don't know that that one's for me, but um, it would be kind of neat to take it on the Peterbilt, do a design that's, uh, that's different, you know, that you don't see all the time. Um, the only problem is probably the ones that are different aren't, <laughs> aren't as good or as popular. Um, that one's not bad. You know, simple. Um, and I love how they've got it all laid out. So, um, you know, they've got the the points of reference so that you can, you know, paint it up. And, uh, yeah. Ah, it's okay. The Freightliner, you know what? I um, I like the Freightliner. Um, but I actually had uh, the, the previous owners called me about it. And, uh, and there was more issues with... Actually, this is a cool design. You know, that's another one that you don't see very much. It's fairly old school. That might not look too bad on uh, on the peep. You know, if you're going to go go with low and slow, it's got to be kind of sleek, I think, too. Which, yeah, or I guess a guy could do part of it. I'll just hurry up here. That's just nice and simple. Doesn't really scream old school, but uh, but it but it's not too bad. The new truck is awesome. I got to say, I actually drove it to work yesterday. Um, <laughs> I drove it to work and it was fantastic. The only crappy part is I got to get it. I got to get an MVI done on it, motor vehicle inspection, in order to register it in BC. So I have to fix the windshield. I have to change a couple tires. I have to fix all the holes in the deck, which is kind of a stinker. But um, but uh, that's okay. It runs fantastic, though. I absolutely love it. And it's so fun to drive. A little bit noisy, but when we do the interior, we'll fix that up. Now that's kind of different. The way it it swooshes up under the under the window, I've never seen that before. That's uh, that's a different one. Now this one, this one I've seen lots. You know, it's just a nice, simple, simple design. Um, that's not too bad. You know, but to me that that would be for like a a three fifty two design like that. To me, that screams like 60s um, or early 70s. You know, very, very simple old school. Now that's uh, that's kind of a cool one too. Just a simple swoosh up the hood and and around. It doesn't really scream traditional Peterbilt though. And I'm, you know, what do you think? Should I go? Actually, that one's kind of neat too. I've never seen. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, thanks, Gary. I am a bit of a... Somebody actually called me a fruitcake. And uh, you know what? 
it was kind of funny. I don't really care though. I mean, I am what I am. Just, you know, got to enjoy life and have fun, right? But um, yeah, I kind of, you know, that's not too bad. Might be kind of neat for an OG. This is fairly simple too. Almost too simple. Now for low and slow with a drop visor, that actually might look pretty good. Because that's the other thing I got to consider. I, it's going to have a drop visor on it. So you got to got to plan for the drop uh -huh. visor. Oh, dang Tim it. Tim Tim, you're going to have to wait. We're live. Um, there's another good one. You know, I like... I like the K100 as well, but, um, and Kenny's not going anywhere. I, um, but I love the, I love the Aerodyne. If it's a flat top, it's gotta be a Pete though. Um, sorry. And the three went, the, the three wipers, like my gosh, it's gosh, it's iconic. Just iconic. Um, I can't wait to get both my trucks done up. It's going to be so wicked. Mm -hmm. Blowout. That's true. I love old school cab overs. And you know what? They are fun to drive. Oh, funny story. <laughs> I thought my truck had 8,200 hours. Well, I should have plugged mm -hmm. it in first. So I did Pick a download on it and I'm, I'll do another video of this. Um, yeah, that's, that's too basic for me. Um, but it's got 38,000 hours. Um, so Clint, our lead hand, he's like, you know what? It's probably been uh, it's probably been rebuilt once or twice. Actually, this you know this might be a good design because it's an old school design, but it's not. I think it could have a bit of a modern flair with the drop visor. Um, but yeah, so uh, low and slow's got thirty eight thousand hours, which explains why some things look really well used and other parts of it don't look used at all. It actually had the turquoise and the green. Is that? That one there, yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it had a generator on it. So being that Alberta is oil country, I think it had a generator and a hydraulic kit on it. And um, and that's why it's got so many hours. It has, like, according to the computer, oh, here we go, conventionals. According to the computer, it's got, no, 20, I'm gonna turn this book around now. It has 20,000 hours of idle time. 20,000 hours. That's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, it's all good. I, um, yeah, I just, oh yeah, and of course now it switches back the other way. Like this is totally the OG color chip book. Sorry about the Ugh. Terrible, terrible videography. I should be working on a, well, I was working on a spec and then Mike brought this to me and I was like, you know what? I got to share it with the guys because um, cause it's just cool. Now this one, uh, Ron Stokes, a customer of ours, built a truck. Um, oh shoot. He actually ended up doing it down in the, down in the U.S. Um, he's got the, um, the auto hauler hood. So it's a short hood, but it's low like a um, like a long hood is because of course the regular 388 style short hood 389 has a bit of a slope up. So the otter hauler hood is low. So Ron did this and um, yeah, I had it done by, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember his name now. It'll come to me, but, uh, but it was a calendar truck. And uh, so it looks really good on his new truck. And the reason why he had to custom do his is because Peterbilt wouldn't put a high rise sleeper with the low hood with the uh -huh. auto hauler hood. So, which was kind of a stinker, but, uh, and of course this one, it's been done lots. It's a great Peterbilt old school design, Peterbilt design 204. That's a good one. Uh -huh. Maybe overdone. Um, do, do, do wife messaging me something. And you know what's interesting? Peterbilt Design 205. Now that is like the seminal design, but that's a Peterbilt design. So did Kenworth copy Peterbilt or did Peterbilt copy Kenworth? But um, it's in the book, Peterbilt Design 205. Does it have a name? Is there a name here? There should be a name. Or is it just 205? I guess it's just 205. Yeah, 203 is definitely, definitely a favorite. That's kind of cool too. 
I've seen that one before. Eh, not bad. Some of these, it depends on the color. Like to me, this in the green or the blue, it looks it looks good. Hopefully my stream is, isn't all garbly like it is at home when I've done it. And you know what? This is good too. It's just a nice, simple two stripes. That'd be a good one to do with uh, with decals because it'd be easy. Easy to do and then peel it off. I was talking about that with Chester from JF this morning about decals because, you know, the one good thing about decals is if you decide you don't like it, you can just peel them off. So first truck I ever owned. Um, well, technically, I was partners with my dad and it was uh, a C500B with uh, steel fenders. But um, that was a cool truck. It was actually in the movie Double Jeopardy. If you guys move, uh, Google Double Jeopardy um, log truck, um, there's a picture of it with Ashley Judd getting out of it. It's a self-loader, silver with red stripes. It's pretty cool. It was a good, uh, it was a good day. Got paid to be an extra, got paid to have my truck sit there. I just wish it lasted longer. They actually liked the truck so much that they added the scene that ended up being in the movie, so. So if you've seen Double Jeopardy with Ashley Judd, you've seen one of my trucks. I've seen this one lots. That one's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. It's not my favorite though. <clears throat> you know, this one's fairly simple. I notice a lot of the designs are fairly simple. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's cool. Here's another simple, simple one. Right there. I like the way this has a swoosh that kind of goes up and I think that actually looks better than the other one that goes up and back maybe. I don't know, just a thought. Just a thought. And that is the beauty. Like, could you imagine being back in the day, ordering a new truck and it's like, well, which Peterbilt design would you like? And getting this book and having to figure out like, ah, that was a golden age. You know, nowadays it's like, oh, we're going to paint some trucks. We'll do black and white and blue, like boring. You know, and now it's this huge ordeal to do stripes. But back in the day, it was, it was the norm. Like, you know, like, look at this, look at the attention to detail and how many options and, you know, customization and style and, and class, like, you know, the, these huge fleets are kind of, kind of making it, I don't know. If I had a huge fleet of trucks, like, okay, say I was Walmart, you know what? I would do a funky design, a real classy design. I mean, what's so original about a white truck? Nothing. You know, you could have a full arrow truck and still have it look classy. That actually looks pretty good. I think it looks better there than, than, uh, Oh yeah, thanks Ron. I um absolutely love the new Pete. I love it. I tell you guys, it was so fun driving it home. Other than it's got a drone, but it was a cheap, cheap base model, I think, so it probably doesn't have much uh insulation. Well that and it doesn't have cab air suspension, so it's it's uh you get a bit of drone through the cab, but uh but it's cool. I can't wait to straight pipe it. I actually got a, a single straight pipe, a factory well actually it was a screw up on my part because I ordered a truck with uh grass burner exhaust and I actually had accidentally had the stack coming up behind the sleeper so of course we're taking that off but now I got a straight stack from behind the sleeper so that's pretty handy so yeah anyways I had to share this with you guys because this is like super cool um I don't know which design I'm going to go with on uh on low and slow but it's got to be it's got to be a traditional Peterbilt design I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I could, well, I actually did get the Jeep on the back, but I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't, uh, I ended up not loading it up because we were in a hurry. So, yeah. Yeah, the 90s were good. The 90s were really good back in the day when diesel smelled like diesel. But, um, now I forget what I was talking about. Um, yeah, actually, you know, would it be cliche to do like the traditional, the traditional design, you know, that's been done so much? I don't know. I don't know. Chicken lights and chrome. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. 
I'm actually going to put my Super Duty. I got it figured out how I can get the the cab over in the low and slow in the shop this winter. I'm going to have to load stuff on the back, but I think I can make it work. So we'll see. Yeah. Where's 103? Is this 103? No. Which one's 103? 104. 102. Oh, hey, these aren't in order either. 102. I had my favorite there too. Which one was it? I kind of dig that one, you know. It's kind of got a retro, a retro feel to it, but I wonder what it would look like with. See, and that's a problem. You know, when you look at this, you got to think about what's it going to be like with a drop visor because it's getting a drop visor actually you know what i should order that sooner than c106 yeah i don't know i don't think this part would work on my sleeper looks a little bit too uh i don't know maybe a little bit too 70s ish that's too simple gosh there was one maybe it was near the back that's too simple. That's too simple. Too simple. Hmm. That's a little different. That's that's kind of old school. Now that's old school. If a guy's going old school, that's really old school. But I don't think I want to go that old school. I think I want to do... Hmm. That's, nah, I don't want to do that one. If I'm going to do a swoosh... If I'm going to do a swoosh, I want it to come like right down to there. But that, you know... Kenny is going to get that, you know, like BJ in the bear truck. This one, that would probably look good with a drop visor, but I don't know. There was one. Where the heck was it? Oh, it wasn't that one. There's one that I think was the best. Of course, now I can't find it. Is it this one? Maybe it was this one. Well, this one's not bad. There's a bigger one. Sorry, I'm flipping through this so crazily. You know, that would probably look good with a drop visor on it. <clears throat> with the straight lines, it's kind of like they say. Straight lines, uh, horizontal lines, they make you look... Uh, how is it? Straight lines make you look fat. <laughs> or Don't wear horizontal lines because it makes you look fat. But that would also make it look low. So being that my Pete's called low and slow, that with a drop visor might be really good. I think, but, um, yeah, that's cool. So many cool pictures and designs. I should see if there's any more. Cause I mean, this was, well, actually, you know what? This, this is the era. So even though I say there's, you know, cause like, that's my truck. It just has the shorter sleeper on it. I should get a bumper like that. Yeah. I totally need to get that bumper. I've been trying to order parts, and unfortunately, a lot of parts, Peterbilt doesn't um, produce them anymore, which is a big stinker. That would probably look good with a drop. Well, no, it's too simple down here. I think I think we got to have something on the side. Yep, got to have something on the side. Yeah, this one, the more I look at it, I just, it's not doing it for me. I got to admit it. It's one of those things I liked it at first, but now it's... Wah, wah. You know, and there was one that I, sh where the heck was it? It was kind of like the 104. Now I'm, now I'm bouncing around here like a crazy person. Stand up. Oh, gosh. Is it that one? Should we do that one? Should we do a 104? That's pretty traditional. I don't like that one. Reminds me of the 90s. Not that there was anything wrong with the 90s. Mm, that's not bad. Yeah, it's too simple. I don't know. I'll have to keep looking, I guess, and see what you guys think. Actually, you know, I think that might be cool. Sky blue with navy. Ah, you know, I just can't do... I just can't do blue. I'm just not a blue fan, sorry. Although... You know, when I say that, I might do Kenny in blue because of the blue buttons. 
and build a different one for uh, a BJ in the bear truck. I'm not a fan of blue, but I just, the cab in Kenny is way too good to, um, to kill him or change it and to put blue buttons on a red truck. I don't know. I'd probably be goofy, but, um, anyways, I just ooh, had to show you guys what I was up to. I'm just working on smart spec, probably all backwards. Trying to build some truck for trucks for a major fleet in Canada. So, um, yeah, it's been quite the challenge. And, you know, I got I got an old Peterbilt paint manual. I don't know if there's anything in there. Since I'm, you know, showing you guys my office, doing a live. This is... Andrea Chamberlain. Sorry, honey. I'll get back to you. So just do a quick, quick look in this book too. Um, so this one, I had the, oh, this is, yeah, this is more the nineties here. Let me finish this out for you. Okay. Nope. Oh, that wasn't there. There we go. Um, yeah. Understanding paint finishes. So paint designs, I got to say, it's pretty awesome to have all these Things at your fingertips. Oh, that's a 387. Is there anything? Oh, these are just color chips. These are old color chips. All right. Well, that wasn't as exciting as it was supposed to be. What else do I have in here? These are my current color chips. And you know what's a real stinker? Like, this is, this is all my options that I have examples for. But literally, there are thousands of color options with Peterbilt, but it's so hard, so hard to pick. Um, I'm actually doing a, a 3D9 logger in the green like this with a black Seminole. That's gonna be super cool. Just super cool. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, here we go. This is our legendary paint color chip book. And look at the way that, well, of course that's just a reflection, but. Um, the way the light hits it, like these legendary colors. Okay, just a sec. Let me get, let me get a flashlight because I got to show you guys this. So, don't mind me in my junk drawer. But this, this is how I like to show you the legendary colors. Like when you put a light on it, um, the legendary colors have crushed glass, and it just absolutely pops like sparkles. So yeah. I've got a 3D9 in the shop. It's legendary black with legendary gray. And like, yeah, if you go like that, you go, huh, yeah, from a distance, it just looks like a black and gray truck, but you put the light on it and uh, it pops. I'm actually doing a, a legendary silver logger as well with some, some stripes. But um, anyways, guys, just wanted to share the book. Um, it's pretty wicked. OG color match, color match, the OG um paint design book because i'm i'm gonna i gotta pick out a design i mean i'm not doing it right away but i'm gonna have to pick out a design for uh for low and slow and it's got to be cool because uh, it's gonna have straight pipes and it's gonna have a drop visor and this weekend i'm gonna try and clean it up because there's a show and shine this weekend and or not this weekend gosh i'm losing it next weekend there's a truck show and shine so i was gonna try and get it ready for that if i could plus i gotta get it mvi'd um so i gotta do mvi repairs to it and this weekend, I also want to pull the um, the fuel pump and compressor off of Kenny so that I can uh, check out the cam. And I'm hoping I can just clean up the cam and it's just a little burr um, because, you know what, I'm not giving up on uh, my K100 project. If anything, this is going to make it easier because I can play with um, low and slow and it's going to be, it's going to be kind of fun because I'm going to have low and slow for, you know, kind of like a, a utility retro, well, not retro, but almost like a hot rod truck. That's what I want to do, like a custom truck. And then, um, and then with the deck on it, I can do all sorts of things with it. I can haul firewood. I can go pick up other trucks. I can haul dad's backhoe, um, you know, and Kenny. Kenny, I'm going to Mac Daddy him out when I get him done. Um, and like I say, there is another K100 that I actually put my name on, but it doesn't have an engine and transmission. So, And I'm in no hurry for it, but if the cab is good, as they say, 
you know what a k100 aerodyne or p cab over you gotta uh-huh. save them because if you're if you like old trucks and old cab overs they just don't make them like that anymore so anyways guys have a great day just want to share that with you till next time uh-huh. Cheers. oh gosh i better go answer the phone how do i get out of here x